This is a pep talk I give my daughter every night. She's five. <coughs> Baby girl, let me tell you, when you first entered this world and laid in these arms, my one and only thought was to keep you safe from harm. <coughs> and as I cut that cord from the submerged world that for nine months you have come to know as your own, I felt the pressure of two blades piercing the arteries of my heart and cutting deep into my soul. The first blade, releasing a flood of tears and emotion, leaving me unable to contain my experience of this new love's boundless ocean. But then the second blade, it severed my ties with this moment of pure bliss for just long enough to make me wish that you were not a girl. Not because I did not love you as if a morning sun had just risen, but because this world casts doubt and darkness on the moon, focusing on her blemishes and her scars instead of her radiance among the stars. But then I came to my senses and I asked myself, why must I feel compelled to write you a separate poem? Why must your brothers go out while you sit at home? No, this will not be that poem and yours will not be that life. Because you will be you. You will be both glue and the surface. Your courage will inspire men and you will be the architect of your own who, what, where, how, why, and when. Your voice will transform this dusty earth because every single atom in your body has been formed from the very rib of greatness and not from the inner remains of Adam's chest. You are not vestigial or a princess. You are a dragon. You are a queen. You are an empress. Every single note in your voice and every nuance in your choice has been formed by this universe to intelligently design and refine itself into something better. Do not forget that boys and men must stand on your shoulders to achieve their greatness only after being carried in your arms. Through the prism of your intellect, your light will scatter far and wide. And when you see one boat rise, all others will follow because you are the tide. The Maya of this world will do all it can to reduce you to an optical illusion of skin, hair, and measurements. But you will unveil this delusion and set many, many new precedents. Remember that the same world that says mind over matter will tell you that your mind does not matter and that you should be married. And I will tell you the same. Get married. Be married. Be married to your dreams. Don't let anyone ever take away from your steam. To the top always rises the cream and you are all that and more. One day, my dust will float off into the air but I will be forever proud that I had you and that you were my daughter. You are the seed on which all this world's rains desire to fall. And when you rise through that soil, you will be you. And that is all that you should ever need be. My daughter, you are the seed, the soil, the husk, the rain, the sun, and the moon. Let no one ever tell you differently. That will be all. Now please, go and clean up your room. <laughs>